little boy, Tom, my new friend. Wow. Oh, uh, greetings from Tromaville. I'm Lloyd Kaufman, and I'm coming to you live via satellite from the world-famous Troma Building, where I'm now editing Troma's new masterpiece. To be announced. <laughs> I thought that you're a The lighthouse screen of the middle finger. <laughs> it's too important to ignore. Yes, without people like Seamus Handley, <laughs> Conspiracy of the Leaks on a daily basis. That is why Troma Entertainment is always there to lend its full support, especially when there's an event like the Lighthouse Screen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to know why? The Lighthouse Screen, you know, the middle finger, is my fav favorite event of all time. <laughs> because the Lighthouse Screen, you know, the middle finger, exemplifies all that's good about Ecophilia. I'd like to apologize for not being able to come and visit the greatest city in the world. Dublin, Ireland. Uh, cut, cut, cut. Did you make it look good, guys? <laughs> <laughs>
No, don't push it down, Seamus, please. I'm not. I'm this is like when I got dressed for a wedding and I was someone's bridesmaid and it just was not pushing down. You may pick it up now. Wait there. Anytime. No, it's hurting my head now, Seamus. Get it off. <laughs> Get, oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> three, three. Think down. This isn't working out at oh, all. Okay, okay. Oh, Anyone, um, anyone who's made a film or done anything creative, I think everyone knows that moment you hate to admit to when you're finished and then you realize, oh, you know something, this would have been better if we'd done this or this show could have been funnier. And now I'm just rethinking the casting for the leads. <laughs> So trauma, we should discuss trauma because it's yeah. pretty exciting. So this is the only Irish film to ever get trauma distribution. Yes. That's incredible. And they, they've like released, I think, literally thousands of films. And so uh, what, what are you going to do next, Seamus? Um, I'm going to have a drink. Um, <laughs> I don't yeah. know. It's, I have, I'm working on scripts. Some are like trauma-based, some notes for... Middle finger two, because that's the the logo in mine. Yes. But oh, that's good. You're going to do that. <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> that was like the first joke I ever came up with before I even wrote the script for this one. I was like, if I make a second one, <laughs> <laughs> that'll play well in Europe, but not in the States. <laughs> but um, I, whatever may, is made possible by this film, this could easily be a film that opens a lot of doors or closes some others. I, d I really don't know. <laughs> Uh, but I, I'm working on scripts, and the idea is just to hopefully just keep making feature films. Um, and even if things don't work out, I'll, like with this film, just use sheer force of will to make one. Yeah, but I, I think it's already worked out. So I think Definitely. Like, no, if you well, hear yeah, everyone I mean, laughing here tonight and everything, I was just so happy for you. Yeah, and no. you've made a thing that's really, really good. You know? Like, you're, I, I'm a friend of yours. You know, I'm just so proud of you. You've done so well. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, so it's so cool. So what about Middle Finger? Where can people get the Middle Finger? Um, it's going to be out on Blu-ray later this year. Uh, Blu-ray? Yeah, Blu-ray. <laughs> Blu-ray. Blu-ray, cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Am I saying that right, Blu-ray? No. <laughs> Blu-ray. I'm a DVD guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> later this year, still, still no release date uh, confirmed, but also Charm are going to put it on to, it's going to be on Amazon, iTunes, <gasps> and then wherever else. <laughs> they're, they're kind of optioning it out at the moment, but it, it will be definitely in like the mainstream formats, and then there's the Blu-ray that you all have to buy now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and is there any extras on the Blu-ray? Entice yeah, me, yeah, Seamus. Yeah, outtakes. There's a video about how this thing was made. Oh, can you tell us how it was made now, or do you want to save it for the or, end? Or maybe people who want to find out should buy the Blu-ray. Yeah. <laughs> um, I forget. I think it was like, I know we, there were knives involved. I'm just who, showing a piece of back to you. Uh, my cousin Stefan. Where's Stefan? There he is. <laughs> Stefan, who's, who's a, 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 a definite... Um, Patron of the arts and supporter of the arts because he also works here <laughs> in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, but yeah, he, he put that together. Um, Did you ever was have it to like a week, two weeks? We were on and off. We I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Buy the Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have a commentary as well with myself, Victor, Anna, Dermot O'Brien, who, Brian Brian, who's in the audience. And yeah, where's where's Dermot? Where is he? Dermot O'Brien is like the backbone of Irish comedy. You should yes. also give him yeah, a clap. No, he's he's amazing. <laughs> And then um, Connor O'Toole, who shot the film, and who he's the gentleman that I punched in the face at the end. Uh, Stand-up comedian and filmmaker Connor O'Toole is on yeah. the commentary as well, who couldn't be here tonight because he's off performing in Edinburgh because he's just a hard-working guy. He's a hard-working dude, and he's very nice. Like, he's yeah, not like no. his character at all. No, no. Anybody got any questions? Oh, look, okay, that's cool. That's my Twitter page. It's a bit late now. Uh, <laughs> So has anybody got any questions for, for Seamus or for Anna or, or for Victor, anyone? Nobody okay, five, four, <laughs> three. I was just going to ask, uh, Seamus, what's your Twitter handle? 
<laughs> At Seamus Hanley. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's it. Are we done, are we? No. Oh, wait, there's a hand. There's okay. A hand. Yeah, I mean, uh, we all heard the news about Tom Cruise movie and being injured on the set and all of that. Uh, did you do all your own stunts? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was very afraid when you were like, we've there's all heard the news about Tom Cruise. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, do it's tell, like, Seamus. Uh, I've recently joined the church of... No, um, I... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, there's one story um, where, if anyone remembers the scene where I jump on top of the guy and he picks me up and spins me around. Uh, first of all, that's, that, that's Casey Jones, the voice of Belzar as well. And um, he had a plastic axe. It's meant to be a real axe in the movie. He had a plastic axe and then a real baseball bat. And it's in the film, I sweep across the screen and he hit me like perfectly by accident very hard in the right testicle. <gasps> oh, and he, kept, on. he kept going the scene and he kept rolling and then they said cut and he went on the floor and... <laughs> 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 and uh, what's going on? This was so uh, <laughs> then we shot the scene afterwards and then we had to stop because, no joke, I went blind. You went blind? Good. It can hurt that much. But it was that was because I remember I walked down. I'm the one who has to yell "cut," and I literally just went "cut," just <laughs> and, lay, and lay down <laughs> on the floor. But it, that was—is that in the outtakes? That's um. Can we see? No, because because I walked out. It was you know what I mean. I had to walk out, and then we had to worry he about me at the that. time. So there's no footage of it. We didn't. Like, but it's it's on the commentary. So it's a little commentary spoiler. Nice. Amongst other great anecdotes. Uh, if people raise enough hands, we will get to cover all of them, which <laughs> I'm happy to do. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got one more? Yeah? Hello, Sally. <laughs> oh, my God. This is just... Okay. That is weird. <laughs> so, what's your question? <laughs> no, I just wanted to ask Seamus, um, because you did so many different jobs, both in front of and behind the camera. Uh, in the trajectory of your career, do you see yourself um, still doing both, or would you prefer to move like just to the filmmaker side of it? Do you, do you enjoy being in front of the camera? Just from judging from my own experience. Of working with you, it seems like you have a love-hate relationship with it. <laughs> with myself. Um, yeah, I, honestly, I, I'd love to. I'd love to keep acting, even in stuff I'm. I'm not um, making, be it like more films or uh, music videos, um, like your one that I acted in. But um, honestly, I keep finding myself. I keep finding myself. I'd happily like keep appearing in stuff I'm making, but I keep finding myself thinking, like writing stuff now, and I'm like. You know something I don't have a part for myself in this, and I suddenly that's it's almost I think that's a mature thing, but I don't know whatever the project I definitely want to keep editing. That's not something I did out of necessity. That's something I do adamantly. I'm like no one else is touching this but me, but definitely some jobs I'd rather um, do less, like stunts, um, and I learned that the hard way. Cool. Yeah, all all right, way. I'm just gonna say you've missed all forms of public transport. <laughs> Uh, that's definitely Thanks, dead. That's uh, dedication. <laughs> that is in so, this yeah. City. Give yourselves a big, massive round of applause. And give it up for Seamus, Victor, and Anna. Woo! Thank you, guys. Thanks, everybody.